All right, so let's go ahead and start putting together the obvious solution, which is not the design pattern solution, the state design pattern. But but it's always a good idea to do the the obvious solution way. So you can see the difference between using the obvious solution and the actual pattern. That way we have that awesome gratification once we see the results um, using the correct way, which is the state pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create one class here. I'm going to call this soda machine. There we go. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have a few states um, as instance variables. So I'm going to say final static and okay, I'm going to go ahead and say sold out. I'm going to give a value of zero. Copy this a few times so we don't have to That. So the next one is going to be no money, and it's going to be one. Has money, it's two sold. Give it three. Okay, there we go. So we have our instance variables. These are our states. Okay. And then we are going to, and then the next I'm going to create another integer here. This integer, um, I'm going to call this state. And we're going to give the sold out state to begin with, which is what we created at the top. I'm going to give a counter here. So I'm going to say count. This is going to hold how many items um, or how many soda pops we have inside of our machine. I'm going to give it a zero for in to initialize it. All right. Let's go create an, a constructor here. Pass the count in our constructor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if count is greater than zero. Then I'm going to give a state to have no money, okay? Because that says we have we have items in our account. So in our soda machine, we have some we have sodas, and we're going to go ahead and just say the state of this machine now is that it doesn't have any money. It does have sodas, but nobody has entered any money, okay? And at the bottom here, we're going to start putting together the actions. Okay, so the actions will be the methods. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and start, say, public void insert money. Well, you can guess what this does. I'm going to create another one. It's going to be public void. I'm going to say eject money. Public void select call this select soda public void and this one is going to be dispense okay there we go so each one of these of course will have certain actions so let's go ahead and start with insert money what we're going to do for insert money right now as you can see we're going to go ahead and say if because once the action is delegated then we want to set the machine into a certain state so if money is insert we want to do the following we're going to say if state is equal to has money so if there's money there then we say s out we can say for instance you can't insert another dollar bill just like that okay else if state is no money let's say s out if that's the case we're going to change our state to has money okay i'm going to say s out let me go say you inserted a dollar i'm going to say else if again 
state is equal to sold out as out say the machine is sold out you can't okay just like that and the else if state is sold as out then we're gonna go ahead and say please wait we are already giving you a soda as such Okay. So now we've put together all these states when the action is insert money. So when we call the insert money, we're going to go through all these states, depending which state we are on or the machine is, then we're going to do something. So if the state is ha has money, then we're going to just print out, you can insert another dollar bill. If it's no money, we've set the state now to has money, because we assume that it has money. So they have already inserted the dollar. If it's sold out, the machine, of course, is sold out. If its state is equal to sold, uh, we're going to say please wait because that means that the machine is at a state where it is figuring out a way then to retrieve and give you the actual the pop okay perfect so we're gonna do the same thing with our eject so I'm gonna go ahead and say if statement here no. I'm gonna say if state has quarter if state has money, then I'm going to say s out. Um, we're going to say returning dollar bill, as such, right? Because it already has some money there, so there's no need to add more money. So else if, in this case, let's make sure that the state then becomes no money. Else if state is no money s out you haven't inserted a dollar bill okay else if again state if state is sold and then we're going to say S out. I'm going to say already selected soda. Okay, because that means pressing the selection, right? The soda that you want, because they already done that. So else if again, we're going to say if state is then sold out. Okay, it's pretty much the same process here. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say S out. I'm going to say here, machine sold out. Okay, so they don't need to add anything or nothing will be ejected. That's what's happening here. Now for the select soda here, we're going to do again, I'm going to do the same thing. In fact, it's so similar to everything else. I'm going to pause it and populate everything. That way you don't get bored because this is the hard way of doing things. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to see the difference here. Okay, how painful it is to put it all these if statements. I'm going to pause this and you will see all of these populated. All right, there we go. So by the magic of editing, uh, you see that I was able to put together the select soda, all the code, and the dispense soda. Oh, in this case, it's dispense. Let's quickly go over select soda. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm stating, I'm looking, I'm checking to see if the state is sold. If so, I system out something. Else, if state is the no money, I said you select the soda, but money first, buddy. We'll make sure that we know that they have selected a soda, but they need to add money. Now, if the state is sold out, they are of luck, right? <laughs> if the state is has money, we know that they have entered the money and have selected, and they have entered money, which means that now they have selected the soda. And of course, we change the state to sold, the state of the machine now, okay? 
And of course, we call the dispense method, which um, goes through the same process of checking uh, if sold state is the current state the machine is in. If that's the case, then we are we tell them that the soda is being dispensed. So they will be enjoying it for soon. But then we have to make sure that we look at our counter. Okay, we have our count uh, instance variable we created at the top. We start at zero. So we check to see if it indeed. So we are going to subtract from whatever count we have. If we have five or 100 sodas in our machine, then it's going to be 99 now. Then we have an if statement here to check if the count is zero. So if the count is zero, we say, well, we don't have any more sodas. So the state, the sold out state is then created, right? So now our machine is going to be in the sold out state because we don't have any more sodas. Now, inside of that if statement, we also checked to see if state is no money. In this case, we're going to go ahead and say else. We're going to just say that state is no money. Then we have another else if statement here. As you can see, it says no money. If state is no money in the case, we just say please insert a dollar bill. If state is sold out, it's sold out. If it has money, we say no soda dispensed because it already has money, which means we will then call that inside of selected and dispense our soda. Okay, so this is our very simplistic and the obvious, as we call it, the obvious solution to our problem of creating a system that will allow us to insert in our soda machine. And the soda machine will then do what it needs to do, which is to dispense sodas and get money and so forth. In the next video, we are going to give it a run, um, go to our main here and do a little test drive to see how all it's going to be look like and so forth. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.